salad. Lovely. Now to make the dukkha we're going to pop some hazelnuts onto our pan, some pecans and some pistachio. And we just want to toast though so for about a minute or two our frying pan we're going to pop in the black sesame seeds, normal sesame seeds and the fennel seeds. Now we, the reason why we want to do that separately is we don't want to blend the sesame seeds with the nuts because then you don't get to see the beautiful sesame seeds. So we're going to toast those. In here we have our dukkha. We're then going to have the sesame seeds and the fennel seeds straight into the bowl. Beautiful. And then Helena, you want to put in your dry spices. So we've got some cumin. In there, just mix that up. Just throwing stuff around. We've got some paprika. And that's a sweet one as well. And then we're going to pop a bit of salt, not too much. And then we're going to pop some cracked pepper as well. And mix that around, Helena. And how simple is that? There we go. Have the dukkha. The dukkha is that done. Into a bowl? No worries. There you go. We're going to make a spiced yogurt. So with the spiced yogurt, we're going to pop in some beautiful Greek yogurt into our bowl. Alright, and the spices we're going to add, we're going to pop a bit of salt in there, some beautiful sumac, there we go. Get a lot more spice in there. No also worries. we're going to add the turmeric, and just mix that around. So to the yogurt, we are going to add our cooked pumpkin. So what we've done is cook this in the oven at 180, salt, pepper, olive oil, very simple. So pumpkin straight in. And then we've got some roasted cauliflower as well. We've done the same thing as the pumpkin. So we'll pop that into our bowl with the turmeric yogurt. Then we're going to add our cooked quinoa straight into there. And just give that a mix. A mix. Yum. So you want to coat all those beautiful vegetables with the yogurt. How beautiful is it, Nikki? Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, now let me get a serving plate. We'll just get that one from our office. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, now pop that onto the plate, Helena. Now look at that. That is gorgeous. Now pop some fresh parsley as well. And just rough, you know, very rusty. Don't need to top that up. Alright, oh. give that a mix straight onto our plate. And then we're going to sprinkle that beautiful dukkha that we just made. Then we want to sprinkle our dukkha on top. Don't be shy with the dukkha. And you know what, the rest of this dukkha you can use on some poached eggs in the morning. You can pop it on top of some pasta. It's very versatile. Also going to add pomegranate, which we think works well. Just using uh, the pepper, that way we can get pepper in at the same time. And then and we're, going we're going to finish it off with some delicious olive oil. Yum. And that there is our pumpkin cauliflower and dukkha salad. Yum. Let's give it a try. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Yum. Remember, don't forget to subscribe right here.